All right. So talking about probability, again, this is our transition between or from descriptive statistics into inferential. So we're talking about probabilities. This is chapter four. Like I said, it is the basis for making decisions about our data. That's really what we're going to be doing. And it's based on this idea. If something has a low probability, that means its occurrence is going to be rare. So if something has a low chance of happening, you say it's probably not going to happen. That, that's really the whole idea here. I mean, it might be an obvious statement, but what we're going to think of it is low probability means rare or unusual occurrences. Occurrences two hours, one hour. I never know. I think it's two. Like that. One. Is this occurrences? Okay, one hour. You were right. Whatever. And there's some vocabulary that we do need to talk about. Speaking of vocabulary, there's some vocabulary that we need to talk about as well before we get going on exactly what probability is going to be in relation to this class. The first word we need to talk about is a word called an event. Event in statistics doesn't mean event like in, in English. Uh, in English, an event means you're having like a party or something, that's our event. Here, that's not what it means. Uh, what event means for us is a collection of outcomes of a procedure. So an event is what you get from a procedure. Now I'll explain this and give you examples in just a minute. So event, it's a collection of outcomes of a procedure, so something you're doing. We also have another couple words. We have something called a simple event. <laughs> a simple event is a single outcome, one specific single outcome. Don't worry, I'm going to flesh all of this out with an example in about two or three minutes. Last word, we have something called a sample space. The sample space is everything that could possibly happen, all the simple events. So all simple events, in other words, every possible outcome. So an event. Event is something that can happen when you do a procedure. A procedure such as rolling a die, flipping a coin, something that involves some chance in there. A simple event is one specific outcome that, that you can get. Uh, the sample space is everything that you could possibly get from flipping the coin or rolling the die. So let me give you an example. We'll talk about flipping a coin, and we'll, we'll identify some events and some simple events, and then the sample space. Would you like to do that and kind of get an idea about what this stuff actually means? So let's go ahead, and our example would be flipping a coin. So our procedure.
We're going to flip a coin one time. So you're going to take the coin out of your pocket, you're going to flip it, and you're done. You understand the procedure, right? Flip the coin. Cool. Here's an example of an event. An event could be, what can you get out of the coin? Can you get edge? No, you usually get usually edge. Wouldn't it be cool if you just flipped it and landed on the edge? Has it ever happened to you before? Has it ever happened? I th what if it's happened to somebody before? Well, maybe if you had like a edge of a coin that's like that wide, it could probably happen. But like with a quarter or something, I, it's really rare that that's ever going to happen. I, I don't know that it ever has. Anyway, that's just, I got that forever possibility, I guess, but uh, if you're flipping a coin, there's only two things that can happen, right? You can get heads or tails. When you're talking about an event, you're specifying one thing that could happen and what you're looking for. So an example of an event in this case would be you're looking to, for how many heads you get. So an event, an example of an event would be head. Flipping a head. Which, coincidentally, that's also a simple event, one thing that could happen. Our sample space includes every possible outcome you can get when you do your procedure. Now, our procedure is flipping a coin how many times? One time. Just once. So you flip the coin. What could you possibly get from flipping the coin one time? Okay, so that's what our simple our sample space is. Is you either get a head or you get a tail. Can you get anything else besides a head or a tail when you flip the coin one time? No, we're not going to get to the edge thing. That's really not realistic. And we put these funny little brackets around there. If you're trying for the first time, it might end up like that. That's okay. It's a kind of a nice curvy bracket though. Takes you a lot of years to master that. Master's level stuff, you know, try brackets, whatever. So our sample space is a collection of simple events. So here's what we're talking about. Procedure is what you're, you're doing. Event is what you're looking for. Simple events are what could happen. And your sample space is a collection of all those things. Do you kind of understand more the idea of events, simple events, and sample spaces? The next example will really make it even more clear for you. So the procedure is what you're doing. The event is one outcome that you're looking for. So we're looking to get for a head here. Or you could have had tails there. What you can get uh, flip by flip, those are called your simple events. One, out, one specific outcome. So here we can only get a head or a tail. If you combine all of those simple events together, you get what's called your sample space. I don't know if you're still with me on this. Let's do one more example to really illustrate this. The procedure now is we're going to take that coin back in our pocket and we're going to flip it three times. So we're going to flip, what would that be, thrice? We'll flip thrice, three times. If you flip a coin three times, what could you get? Well, you get heads or tails for the first one, right? But then you flip it again. What could you get out of that one? Okay, then you flip it again. What should you get out of that one? So, an event is like this. An event says, what, what possible combinations could you have? Those would be considered our events. So, one event would be, I'm looking for one head and two tails. That's an example of an event, one specific outcome of your, your procedure. Does that make sense to you? So this says, OK, one thing that could happen here is I get a head and two tails. Now, we're going to find out each of the simple events. So what are the simple events that could happen? What could you get when you flip your coin three times? You could get three heads. That's a good place to start. So you get all three heads. Head, head, head. 
What else could you get? What now? You get tails three times. Okay, that maybe put that down here. That could happen, right? These right now, what we're finding, these are simple events. They're single outcomes that we can get from flipping a coin three times. Can we get just a single head? Not if you, well, I'm sorry. Can you get just a single head and no tails? Not if you're flipping it three times, right? You're going to get three distinct things that happen. A head, a head, and a head. A tail, a tail, a tail. What else could I get? Okay. So I heard two heads, what do you mean two heads and one tail? <laughs> Sounds a little weird. Uh, I mean, in order. Like, you can get two heads and a tail several different ways. One way could be if you go head, head, tail, right? Give me another way. Head, tail, head. Head, tail, head. That's another good one. Okay. What about another one? Anything else that we could do? Starting with heads. Well, you know what that was, you starting with heads. Anything we could do, I'm going to erase that for a second. Starting with heads. We had head, 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 tail, head, tail, head, head. Tail, 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 okay. So these are all, this, all simple events starting with heads. We could do head, 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 tail, head, tail, head, head, tail, tail. Let's do the tail ones. We could have tail, tail, tail. Give me some other things that we could have here. Tail, tail, what else? You could have tail, head, head. You could have tail, tail, head. Tail, head, tail. And we already have the tail, tail, tail. Would you look that over? Did I miss any? Did I miss any possible outcomes we could get? Are you seeing how we're getting these things? We're just imagining flipping a coin, right? Imagine flipping a coin three times, you can get a head, a head, and a head. You get a head, a head, and a tail. It's easiest to do it that way, well, for me, to, to sit there and think of all the heads and then think of all the ways you can have a head first. It'd be head, 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 great. Head, head, and then a tail. Or head, and then a tail, and the head. Or a head, and then two tails. And that takes care of everything that starts with H. Then you go tail, tail, tail. Okay. Tail, tail with an H. Then tail, then a head, then a tail. Then tail, head, head. That way you know you have all of them up there. Are you with me? Okay. So what we've just done, we've listed out all the possible single outcomes up here. Are you with me on that? All the possible single outcomes. Those are all the simple events. Simple events mean a single outcome. So what we've done here, that's a simple event. That's a simple event. And so are the rest of these. All eight of these things are called simple events. If I group them all together like I've done, what we have is called the sample space. The sample space is a collection of everything that could possibly happen. Raise your hand if you're with me on that. Okay. Now, let me, because the biggest thing for people is like, well, what's the difference between a simple event and an event? Is an event the same thing? The answer is no. An event is... It doesn't matter how you get it, that's what I'm looking for. So for instance, our procedure's flipping a head, or flipping a coin three times. Our event we're looking for is getting one head and two tails. That's one of the things that we could get flipping a coin three times, right? That's just one of the things we could get. Here is all of our possible simple events or